Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Welcome back. We are currently amongst some small remote islands in Rajarampa. Running low on fresh food, we head to the village to buy some fresh fruit and eggs. The best thing about heading to shore is that we are always warmly welcomed by the village kids. They are always up for a flipping good time. Installing here, guys, is a rectifier um, followed by a regulator, which is going to give us power to our battery, power to the sounder. So at the moment, we've got a battery in the boat and it's got no power. Um, we put on our rectifier followed by a regulator, run a couple of wires back to the battery, probably like a $50 job, and um, should have ourselves a little bit of power to keep the 12 volt battery charged. Have a go out here in the remote spots of Raja Empat. All right, guys, so I've moved the cover, the flywheel. So we didn't film this part because there was a few swear words made and then there was a little keyway here a little wafer key which we thought we lost but it found its way to a magnet that's okay but apart from that coming over to here we've put on a rectifier which will give us our charge as the flywheel spins around and followed by a regulator which will regulate the current that is produced here by the motion of the flywheel spinning around regulated into our 12 volts which will divert around to our battery and we'll have power to uh, run whatever we want maybe a little depth sounder and something else there you have it Lazada which is like an eBay of Indonesia and uh, I think this was Bob Motor in Ambon and it appears to fit so we're gonna put it all together and we'll see if we've got charge coming out go from there this one here will actually create AC current which is no good for our 12 volt battery that's where a regulator comes in We'll find somewhere to mount it, which in this case looks like it'll be here. Um, I've used the existing screws that were on this plate, and I had some longer screws we got with the rectifier. So we'll put this regulator on, and that'll throw it into DC, which will be for our battery. And um, let's get it all back together and uh, see if we've got some power. All right, guys, so here's the big magnets in here, which will spin around there and produce our AC current, which we th run through our regulator, which will turn it into DC, straight into our battery. There is a little keyway on here, so we're going to have to 
Look at that, there she is there. Try and get this in without losing this. Halfway through a job. There's always someone to offer you some coconuts, I reckon. Let's have a look, what have we got here? Come flying out. Oh, I must be getting old, I can't bloody see down there. Ow. Oh. Yep. Sometimes you pick a finger up here and there. Sometimes you get it right. There we go. Sweet. There's a lot here. A bit of washer. Hopefully we don't have any leftover nuts or bolts and you know you've done the job right. He's <laughs> one funny bugger. Okay, you can turn the camera off for this part. Cover plate back on. One little trick when you're remote, never tighten things up too much, because if you break them, you're in trouble. That should be connected. Yeah, it's in gear. That's good. All right, guys, we're gonna kick this engine over. I've hooked it all up. I'm just gonna check that we've got AC first, and then we're gonna wire it up and see if we've got DC, and then we'll put it onto our battery. <laughs> Going on here, guys. A little bit of choke, maybe. Fourteen DC volts. So that's enough to charge our battery. I think you only need about 13.6 volts and that should charge a 12 volt battery. There you have it. Probably a uh, $50 off Lazada and another $50. And uh, we've got power. Caught behind Venetian blinds Try to reach for the city lines This ain't where I belong Ain't hey, look at me, man, what I become I've been running east Looking for something Digging deep since 99 What I found Gone. Sitting in my pocket in plain sight all along. So the reason we just um, put all that stuff on the motor is so we can run the sounder. And that's another whole um, story behind why we have this in the tender. And our main use is getting into anchorages we don't know the depths on before we take the mothership in. So if you look down here, you can see it's showing about 12.2 volts. I think 12 volts is about halfway, so she's about half a battery. Um, so I'm going to start it up now, and um, let's just see if we get any rise in our voltage, which will indicate that I've done my job correctly. Don't hit me. up to like 13.6 volts I'm sure I don't want to rev the motor too hard while it's not in gear but um, I'm sure we'll get about 14.2 volts that's what it was showing earlier when we put the meter on it so I think uh, job done Good job, babe. running two leads out to a battery that I've just got sitting in a side pouch uh, in Dory and uh, the main purpose is to run our sounder for when we come into anchorages that we're not sure of the depths, we send the tender in first. 
So the tender's got a setup with a sounder transducer so we can read our depths and make sure it's a safe depth before we take the mothership in. And now I don't have to worry about hopping in the boat and having a flat battery. So thanks for watching guys. Till next time, let's take it for a burn and see if we can get 14.4 volts. Let's go. this up and take my beautiful wife for a swim out of here stay tuned we had one more sunset here before we venture out and head north towards Helmahira. I think she's taller than me. Your chin's really high. Oh, and you, you need <laughs> to see. Can't go up. We can see this in the camera. She's not taller than me. Not yet. I'm still taller. <laughs> we'll go back to back. This morning we pulled our anchor on our way to find surf. We haven't surfed in a really long time. I'll jump in and tell ya. We dropped anchor near a sand cay right before the sun went down, giving us enough time to swim and have a stroll on the beach. Thanks for watching, make sure you subscribe so you can join us next week.
our videos are proudly supported by our patrons. Thank you, we appreciate you all so much.